corre de tu vida, la pasando y la va a Aleluya, recibe la honra y la gloria ahora esta mañana, Señor. Receive all the honor and all the glory and all the praise here this morning, Jesus. Oh, you're the excellent Heavenly Father. We bless your holy name, Father. Oh, your name is to be highly and lifted up, highly to be praised in Jesus' name. Oh, recibe, Señor, recibe, Señor. Recibe, Señor, recibe, Señor. Aleluya, gloria a Dios. Oh, bendecimos al nombre de Jehová. We glorify the name of the Lord here today. Thank you, Jesus, that God is so worthy to be praised here today in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, we must believe in the Lord and the things of the Lord and the things that the Lord would have us even to do in our life, church, amen, staying connected with the blessing of the Lord, hallelujah, and where he has us and where he has taken us, amen. You know, I don't know about you, church, but we are not ashamed of the gospel, amen. We're not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. He knows us and our coming in and our going out. And you know what? We are fully breath blessed we are dressed in our right mind come on now we're dressed in our right mind he knows what's happening he knows what's going on in our lives and you know what we're just going to count it all joy here today that god has given us another day of life in the lord amen praise be to god hallelujah Hallelujah, church, in Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. You know, we've been doing a speaker, uh, which is our ministry of radio podcasting, literally touching hearts around the world, ministering to different people, amen, and different places and spaces. And, you know, it excites me that we're able to connect. And as the Lord has been leading, we have been going live on uh, some of our podcasting um, to come in and to share with you our morning prayer. Amen. God bless you. Good morning, everybody. You know, we're here on speaker and and as I do speaker, you know what? There's traveling grace with us. And believe me, church, that we have uh, not only our speaker family, we have Spotify family, we have iHeartRadio family, we have Google Podcasting family, you know, we're just Deezer family. Come on. There's just so many that are connecting with us here today. And I really feel led to pray in the Spirit and just believing what God has in store for your life. You know, we're taking this time that we have right now to really pray in unity and being in one mind and one accord. You know, I don't know what your needs are personally, but as they go up, amen, or maybe we're seeing this on a watch party, party, knowing that we can pray with you and before you in this time of prayer amen in this time of prayer and so you know we're just believing and trusting in the lord even for our third world countries and even all the things that the lord is doing in our third world countries as the lord is leading even there on our instagram page uh the home has already moved into the transitioning home amen and so there's still so much work there to do they were able to paint and to get some things going there amen um the transitioning home for those who do not know and those that are just coming in it is uh, a home to where even orphans and even those 
um, that are older that are needing a transition that they don't have family or or anything of kind of connection and where they're needing help through the individuals I myself and others that see the vision and have the vision of God of wanting to help third world countries right now we're in Nigeria and we've gone to different areas in Africa as the ambassador as well as prophet has gone in different areas um, there at the church you'll be able to see if not at the end of this week next week a lot of things that is breaking ground there in the church uh, on prayer mountain church amen and we'll be getting some footage on that if you're on my instagram page you will be able to see where they're setting apart and have anointed the place and now they've already established themselves in there amen and so the work is that there will be more work uh created amen so jobs are going to be created uh to be able to help uh, those in the community and those in the surrounding areas just like we do here in the greater metroplex of Fort Worth and Dallas as God has led. Amen. And I just want to share with you um, also too there in Pakistan we'll be showing uh, future in different areas in different ways how we can be a blessing so father god we thank you lord here today lord father you know our heart you know our heart's mission you know our heart situation father god you see our rising up and our lying down father god you see the hard places in our lives i thank you lord for molding us i thank you lord for transforming us I thank you, Lord, for crowning us with your love and with your joy and with your peace. Father God, that you are there for us. You are there with us. Father God, you know all about us. And we thank you, Lord, that you are fighting for our side. Father God, there is nothing evil. There is nothing uh, willed to be wrong or to be mistreated, hated, rejected. We know, Lord, that as you were here on this earth, that you took a beating for us. We know that you were sore and beaten and bruised and rejected. And Father God, you did all these things for us so that we can have life in the life of Christ. I thank you, Lord, that there is more for us than there are those that are against us. We thank you, Lord, that you're fighting our battles for us. Lord, just like uh, Moses, Father God, just like Abraham, just like those of our forefathers that were fighting the forefronts, Lord, and you had the soldiers, you had the believers, you had the brothers, you had the sisters, Lord, that you were lifting up their hands to win the battle. We thank you, Lord, that we win our battles here today. Father God, anything that is spoken ill will against us, Lord, the tongue of the liars, the tongues of those who speak evil, and are cruel and that are mean. Father God will fall to the ground. Father God, we break the spirit of Leviticus. Father God, we break the spirit of all bondages. We break the spirit of all sicknesses and diseases. And Lord, you cause us to triumph. Father God, because we have that grace in you and father god you cause us to believe you've caused us to grow you've caused us to increase father god you've caused us to enlarge our territory 
And I ask you, Lord, that you will bless it, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you increase us in our might. You increase us in our power. Lord, you increase us in our anointing. Lord, because we know who you are in us. Father God, your word says that greater is he that lives in me than he that is in this world. And so I thank you, Lord, today. I thank you, Father God, that you are with us in our places and our spaces and our jobs and our homes over our children. We pray that for the children that are going into schools here today. Father God, that you heal all protection, Father, from all sicknesses and all disease and all pandemics. Lord, just as you walked in the midst of leprosy and nothing touched you, Father God, we are healed, we are delivered in our places and in our spaces. We thank you, Lord, that you are the king. We thank you, Lord, that you are the Lord. And Father God, in your name is to be highly lifted up and highly to be praised. I want to thank all those that are connecting with me there, Tina Vieska. Please share this, invite this with your friends and with your family, with your loved ones, allowing this word of God to go viral. And as God leads, we will be connecting with you today. We love you, church. God bless you. And until next time, we love our friends and our family there. And Facebook and Twitter and Periscope. Come on now. And Lincoln. Come on now. Hallelujah. And all of our ministry pages and groups and all of our pastors and leaders and evangelists and those that are connecting with us and through this ministry. Tina Viesca, Cruzando Fronteras, con una voz de alerta. Look me up, uh, author Tina Viesca. Don't forget, we have our new book out, amen. And it's an encouraging word to see you through, even through the hardest times. God bless you, church. Amen and amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dios la bendiga grande. We thank for those that are connecting with us here. We love you, church. God bless you, church. And we will see you soon on our next podcast. And until then, keep on believing, staying strong. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Señor.